Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Windows Vista build 5365, which was a beta 2 build of Windows Vista that was released on April 21st of 2006. Now, this build does look like Windows Vista and Windows XP kind of merged. It honestly looks more like Windows Vista, as we'll see when we get into the actual operating system. This is after the development reset, so the Longhorn name is completely dropped, and most things in here are labeled as Vista. So without any further ado, let's get started. If you're using VMware, the first thing that I've noticed we have to do is actually get rid of the IDE hard disk and add a SATA hard disk. I don't know why, but for some reason, SCSI and IDE do not work. So once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and boot up the machine, try and boot into the BIOS. We need to do two things in the BIOS, and for some reason, booting into the BIOS on this specific video has been very challenging. So let's go ahead and keep trying. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and enter the setup and change the system date to 04 of 21 in 2006. The next thing we have to do is go into boot and then move hard drive to number one. If hard drive isn't listed as the first boot option inside of the BIOS, it won't detect your hard drive when you go to install Windows Vista. So once we do that, we're going to go ahead and exit with saving changes. And now we're all good to go to go ahead and boot into the operating system. All right, and here we are inside of the Windows Vista installer. So the product key for this build can be found on betawiki.net, and I'll go ahead and enter that now. We can go ahead and accept the Windows Vista pre-release license terms, and now I'll go ahead and click Custom. From here, we can just select Unallocated Space, and now we are installing Windows Vista. This does look a little bit different to what we see today and what we saw in the final version of Windows Vista. It is much more detailed, However, it does the same things, so let's go ahead and let this run. All right, and here we are inside of the Windows Vista setup. So we're just gonna go ahead and make a username of Vista. And again, we can go ahead and choose any background you want and a computer name. Again, security settings, same thing as in Windows Vista, and we're done. So now we can go ahead and boot into our desktop and take a look at the operating system itself. All right, and here we are inside of the Vista Beta 2 desktop, and we can just see right off the bat, it looks incredibly similar to Windows Vista. The only thing, just looking at the desktop, that's different from this build of Vista to the official build of Vista is the cursor and the show desktop icon. Um, so taking a look at the system tray, yeah, all of this pretty much looks like Windows Vista. Yeah, all of this definitely looks like Vista, except that tray down there. Opening the start menu, this does resemble a lot of Windows Vista's final components, except for, of course, some of the app icons. And I don't think in Vista that was bold. Just something about this start menu looks off on this side. All programs, I just want to see, okay, so they do have most of the games that were in Vista, including Inkball. So at this point, all the games were created. So the window borders on this definitely are not the same. I'm sure there's a way to enable transparency as we did it on a build of Longhorn, however, I'm not exactly sure how to do it in this build of Windows, so I'm sure we could figure that out if we want to, but it kind of looks like Windows Basic and Windows XP. It kind of looks like them combined together. So pretty interesting theme. I don't know if I would use it, but it definitely looks interesting. Um, let's just take a look at some of the pre-installed apps. So we have Contacts. Um, I don't think that came in Vista, or maybe it did. Uh, Windows Collaboration. I don't think that came with Vista either. Neither did uh, Marketplace, which I'd be surprised if this... Okay, there's not even internet on this VM, so I don't think that would work. Um, I think it came with the rest of this. Obviously, Windows Media Player was updated because this has the old icon um, and accessories, yeah, a lot of this did seem to come with it, although Windows Sidebar is an application. On the actual build of Windows Vista, I don't think that it was an application. I think it was a setting. I don't know for sure, though. A lot of this is like the final version of Vista. A lot of it does look pretty similar. And here is that brand new thing in Windows Vista, user account control. So this asks you if you want to continue with an application, which, yeah. So overall, that is a pretty cool feature um, that obviously in Windows Vista it got some hate, but now it is a very useful feature because to do anything in your computer, an application asks you for permission. Taking a look at about this PC, we can see that, okay, so this does look like the updated one in Windows Vista. So this is Windows Vista Ultimate. Um, the Windows System Performance Rating is there. It does show our RAM and our processor. 
and the activation does have a yellow box around it, which that doesn't even do that in the final version or in modern version of Windows. Just taking a look at control panel, this does look similar to the Windows Vista control panel, which of course it would because this is a beta build of Vista. Um, it does make great improvements on the control panel that was seen in Windows XP. Um, so yeah, overall, this looks very nice and very updated compared to XP. Going ahead and opening here and typing in Winver, we can see this does identify as Vista Ultimate. So again, there is no more Longhorn branding that is obviously seen here. A lot of that was done away with. Right clicking on the desktop, I noticed that these icons or these text boxes are really like separated from each other. I don't think, I think it's more separated than normal on Windows Vista, or maybe I just haven't used Vista in a while, but they are more separated. So overall, this is definitely an interesting version of Windows Vista that I would highly recommend anyone interested in the development history of Vista to check out. I feel like a lot of people kind of think of the development history of Vista as Windows Longhorn, and then they completely ignore the Vista beta builds. They just go straight to Longhorn because the development history of Longhorn is actually pretty interesting but they completely ignore the betas of Vista. So with that being said, thank you for all for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.